I I'm answered a away. Craigslist ad because mm -hmm. I was bored. <laughs> Welcome to Mind Control. So I worked for NASA. Okay. Do you see, do you see where yeah. my voltage yeah. is successful? <laughs> 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 really <laughs> overqualified for this job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh uh, yeah, you belong here. <laughs> yeah. So welcome to the electric chair. We're trying to get a story of voltage as far as kind of people who've been here. How did you end up um, this way? My name is Laura Steele. I am the That's director. A name. Yeah, it's a good, it's a cool <laughs> name. I am the director of business operations. Okay. My other title is dead mother. What? Because that's really <laughs> how I feel. You know, I I I, I feel like what I do is organize. Yeah. And I'll tell you my journey just a little bit. But uh, so I worked for NASA for okay. 15 years. We're getting into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I worked for Space Station. Oh, I uh, worked for the shuttle. I have won numerous presidential awards for the work I did for. NASA. Why are you After, wearing them? Yeah, what? <laughs> if I won a presidential award, Tattooed I would my wear them yeah. all yeah. the time. Yeah. I was, I've been to every single NASA right. center and right. I've, I've worked, you know, at all of them. Um, I've lived in Washington, DC and Florida, you know, I've been on the shuttle. What? It's very scary. So I had all these, what I would call real jobs. Sure. I worked for NASA. Real I worked real. for um, a, um, a startup that got acquired by Larry Ellison and I had to negotiate with uh, Oracle. Um, I worked with Comcast. I know, it's so terrible. Do you see where, yeah. why both yeah, yeah. success <laughs> wildly yeah. overqualified for this job? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, yeah, you belong here. <laughs> Working for now, I would never have left, but my husband decided that we couldn't raise children in Los Angeles. He said I was working for the Jet Propulsion Lab. And then my youngest son broke his leg so bad mm -hmm. that it stopped growing at the age of 10. Well, and that's a, yeah, it was bad. bad. So his femur broke, got broken so bad, it cl killed off all the growth plates. So we had Gosh. to have 14 surgeries. Jeez. And um, I'm not the stay at home mom type. And he was on to his like 10th surgery or something. Right, right. And so I looked on Craigslist. I'm like, I gotta find something to do. I have to have a reason to get back out of the house because as you can see, I'm used to working. Yeah, I'm used to yeah, very yeah. high production. I like to really do things. I right, like to accomplish so, things. Yeah. Like going into so, space. Like going into space. For example. Yeah, no, I, weird I, example, but... I actually did train to be an astronaut, but I failed pretty quickly into the process. So yeah, I failed pretty quickly into the process. Did you, the process, yeah. did you, did you did join that? the, like, you were in the astronaut well, training program? I would have been a payload investigator from the Jet Propulsion Lab because we, we made instruments. <laughs> I know he's, he's Still counts. Ah, <laughs> lady. So we wouldn't work astronauts. You're you burying the lead on this. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to go through astronaut training anyway, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they were looking for young women to be in the program. So they put me in the program, but that G-Force so thing, cool, you know, that's really rough when you're going spinning around. You, and then the vomit good. comment. Well, the vomit comment the vomit is where it all came apart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you go to Ames Research Center and you do a plane like this and you get a little bit of, you know, anti-gravity, uh, I mean, you know, zero gravity. You and yeah. then they drop you down and it's like, yeah, I was there. Uh, so there anyway, you were there I had a good run. Good run. I, would, I would never have left. I would never yeah. have left. I right. was, I thought I had the dream job, mm -hmm. but this was the dream job, Colorado. Oh Coming to Colorado, to connecting with <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it is. This is where <laughs> this is where it all comes together, people. This is where my experience as you know, with NASA, as yep. a professional, as a mother, this is the pinnacle of my career. I I'm answered a away. Craigslist ad because mm -hmm. I was bored. <laughs> the and my son How many years ago was that? It was like it's 10. ten. I have been ago. here ten years now. <laughs> and if you had told me I would have been here ten years, I wouldn't uh, yep. <laughs> The job literally said, we're looking for um, a Wrangler. Okay. <laughs> we're looking for a Wrangler. Yeah. And the next email said, yeah, I want to conquer the universe. So come on in. And I'm like, well, that's great because, you know, I've kind of visited the universe. Sure, you're you like, know, that's yeah. adorable. Kind of Let me go. I can leave this yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can talk space with you. We can go see the universe. That's crazy. And I remember walking in into that building. You were upstairs. Yeah, because you, you guys were in the basement. Building, right? Yeah. Okay, right. And Seth was there and you were there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I got this. <laughs> yeah, the most I got confident. it. I really intimidated her. Look, I'm the most confident walking in. I've never in my life walked into the room like, and she's like, okay. From my understanding, NASA doesn't really, really say, hey, the box, be creative. Uh, you know, don't worry about math. No, those aren't things no, no, that NASA no, no. really no, says. No. And so that's a big difference. Is it, did you feel like when you came here and you're kind of like, I like that that's scratching that creative itch or was it just oh, like, no. this is totally different? Okay. I got nothing of it at all. And um, But what I 
What I am is the yin to his yang. Yeah. Nobody can replicate what Eric brings to Voltage. Right. We live and breathe, you know, what he brings to this company. <laughs> and our force for good mm -hmm. motto is something we like literally feel mm -hmm. deeply. Um, but you can't go it alone. And especially in this day and age, things move super fast. You know, our clients are extremely knowledgeable. He and I grew up in the whole web world and mm -hmm. e-commerce together. I mean, here. it really yeah. wasn't a thing 10 years ago. Yeah. The creativity was there, like the websites. Sweepstakes. I don't even know yeah. what we were doing. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. You look at what we did 10 years, 12 years ago, 10 years ago, this is crazy. But how do we put a process behind the madness? Yeah. The madness <laughs> being yeah. the lightning in the bottle, the sure, madness sure. being the creativity. Yeah. And so that's what I've tried to do ever since. When I got advice from the Dean of entrepreneurship or whatever at CU, mm -hmm. a, a yeah, mutual yeah, friend, yeah. Yeah. And text said, read good to great, you know? And that was the first thing that said, get the mm -hmm. right people on the bus. Yeah. That's Laura. There was chemistry, like, I mean, I knew right away, Laura, you know, she's she gonna be awesome. Suit. Yeah. She had a whole state suit <laughs> <laughs> on that interview. What's, what's interesting is you can't, it, being creative is great but you yeah. can't have a whole business where everybody is just super, super creative. You can't do it no. because there needs to be no. somebody, like you said, pushing these pieces together. We so, implemented project management. Mm -hmm. You know, we started bringing in, I know he made a funny face when I said project <laughs> management because it's hard to put lightning yeah. in the bottle. Yeah. So we don't actually try to control Eric, right. but we have to control the rest because we tell our clients, we're going to do this for you and it's going to arrive by this date and it's going to cost this much. Right. Yeah. Well, guess what? You don't, what you, in, need to have. you don't stay in business if all of a sudden it comes six months later Later, mm -hmm. and it costs three times as much and you deliver blue instead of green. Yeah. So so we started putting in project management. Um, we started hiring and building out companies. We've done 40 org charts, you know, wow. between us. Um, it, it can't be a mosh pit. No. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and that is what we bring to make the company the vision that he wants That's it to crazy. be. Yeah. Clients I'd worked with forever who knew me <laughs> and knew if I said something, it wasn't going to happen. Sure. Because yeah, it was, it was, I, I got so comfortable with them. Hey, hey, They're like, cool. I'll get, I'll like, yeah, I'll get it. And they're like, Will it so get they'd there? be, you know, <laughs> nicely budging me. And once we had project managers, they were just right. like, can I talk to so and so? <laughs> right, exactly. Or they'd and be like, then, oh, now I can. Things started, to, up to. <laughs> things started to work again. Yeah. I call but, you if I want something actually done. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I call that's, Eric if I just want some cool ideas. I love the idea. Yeah, yeah, well, I love. If I want the dream. Yeah, yeah right. But I need, yeah, so the I need reality. Guy. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So. Ha! Ah.